The need is huge. There are far too few sources of clean drinking water. There are not enough health clinics. There are far too few trained teachers. Most Southerners only eat about one meal a day. The need is great, but our God is greater. In 1956, Sudan gained its independence as the largest country in Africa, but almost two countries in one, really, with the Arab Muslim North combined with the black animist and somewhat Christian South. Today, we have a population of about 40 million people in Sudan, the size of the United States east of the Mississippi River. In 1983, a terrible civil war broke out in southern Sudan, and for the next 22 years, the north ravaged the south. It was a, a brutal regime with dramatic consequences. The Lord spoke to a man named Frank Blackwood about responding to the need of the influx of Southern Sudanese refugees flooding into the United States. Frank, although only a new believer at the time, responded faithfully to the Lord's call and started Aid Sudan in 2000. Peace came really even before 2005, but by January 2005, a peace agreement was signed and tremendous development has happened in the ensuing years. Aid Sudan began to experience significant growth. First, the ministry spread to other satellite locations inside the United States, impacting southern Sudanese populations in those cities. Next, Aid Sudan began to take mission trips to strategic locations around southern Sudan. Third, the ministry began to send missionaries to serve long term in southern Sudan. And finally, the organization began to engage in strategic projects impacting the southern Sudanese people in both spiritual and physical ways. In the United States, Aid Sudan engages in local work with southern Sudanese populations, helping them to develop as communities, walking alongside and mentoring key community leaders, helping Sudanese with key felt needs, training in life skills, and engaging in evangelism and discipleship. Aid Sudan's objective is to help these southern Sudanese communities develop and find their true identity in both spiritual and physical ways here in the United States. Aid Sudan's mission trips are rugged trips, extreme trips, where missionaries go and stay in mud huts, bathe out of a basin, and experience life as a Southern Sudanese, engaging the people in both community development and the spread of the gospel, training pastors through chronological Bible storing, training teachers, teaching health and hygiene classes, and repairing broken water wells helping communities to develop in physical and spiritual ways, experiencing life with them, impacting the Southern Sudanese, and then returning to the state to themselves forever impact. Eight Sudan's goal is to send into Southern Sudan as many long-term missionaries as possible. We believe that Southern Sudanese themselves, those who fled as refugees, are the best suited. They know the language, they know the culture, they're able to be there for the long term. These Moses Project missionaries are now back in Southern Sudan serving their own people and they're training pastors in long-term oral Bible schools using chronological Bible storing, helping to communicate an oral Bible that these pastors then live from as they evangelize and disciple people all over those areas. Our sister project to the Moses Project is the Philip Project. We simply cannot afford to send enough Southern Sudanese missionaries from the States back to Southern Sudan. But the Ugandan church is thriving. They're eager to send missionaries into Southern Sudan. We are training, sending, and supporting Ugandan missionaries working together with Moses Project missionaries using indigenous personnel to lead the way in transforming Southern Sudan. Our question was this, how do we best saturate Southern Sudan with the gospel? In a place with a literacy rate less than 1%, the answer, we believe, is through an oral methodology, through the use of chronological Bible storing coming out over the radio waves. Through the use of solar-powered, handheld radios, the Southern Sudanese people are able to receive the broadcasting based in Kampala, Uganda, linked to satellite, coming down to various repeater stations across the breadth of southern Sudan. The people there are able to take these solar-powered radios and receive the most precious truth of all time. 
Eight Sudan also wanted to focus on impacting physical need, health, education, water. Three components of life in southern Sudan where there is great need. Through Aid Sudan's Village to Village project, we go into key villages and build a school and clinic and drill a water well, giving those villages key infrastructure to help them develop and grow for the long term, giving people hope, giving them purpose, giving them change. One day, back in southern Sudan, I sat down with an Aid Sudan mission team as we visited with Yosafa, my good friend and the main pastor back in our old village. He said, Peter, we have been praying for years for you to return here. We have no hope. We have nowhere else to turn. We at Aid Sudan are honored to work together with Yosafa and our many other friends across southern Sudan. The need is great, but our God is greater. With an average growth of more than 50% over the past five years, God has blessed Aid Sudan. He has called us, He has equipped us, He has opened the right doors as we work in strategic and intentional ways by His power and by His grace. Communities are being transformed. In a place with incredible need, our God is responding in incredible ways.